Good morning, Zio here. And um, today we go back to Fallout 76 because, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> anyway, Fallout 76 has had a busy, busy time this year. And uh, last week, of course, things were going very, very bad really, really quickly on the PC side of things. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? the PC side of things, a hack was released where people were interjecting code from Fallout 4 because this is what happens when you take your assets from previous games, cobble them together, throw on some makeshift multiplayer, and say it's going to be fine. Um, look, I'm sorry. I, I know some of you people really, really hate it when I knock on Fallout 76. It shows all the damn votes and such. You could at least give me a reason to why... I'm wrong when I sit there and tell you this game is a buggy mess. Especially when we're talking about an exploit, a hack, where somebody literally can walk up to you and rip your entire inventory out of your pocket. That's what was going on last week, right before the holidays, and Bethesda was scrambling to fix it. In fact, it didn't look like they were going to do anything at all until partway through the day when they were like, yep, we're finally taking down the servers. So, as an update, we have just completed the PC maintenance in order to address this exploit. Thank you for your patience and your reports while we, were invest while we investigate this issue. And then they go on. A few players lost their items that their characters had equipped. Only a small number we're negatively affected, and we want to make this right. We are currently looking into ways to be able to compensate you. How about give them back their items? Bethesda right now is currently in the mode of downplaying. We're at the end of the year. They're trying to make themselves look super awesome because they did good. They stopped this exploit that they were warned about a year ago. And, you know, they're trying to make themselves look super, super good right now. Uh, they're downplaying it, and I mean, I guess when you take the numbers of how many people actually got installed and have created an account right now on Fallout 76, a couple of thousand, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 might be a very small number in the grand scheme of things. But really, when it comes down to it, I think if one company is going to be truly transparent, they should probably come up with these numbers and information based on what their current player base actually is. Because you can go look right now, and World of Warcraft has probably over 10 million, you know, accounts associated with World of Warcraft. How many of them are actually active right now? It's a different story. Um, you know, so those numbers are really, really big differences. Because you can sit there and say X amount of accounts exist, doesn't mean people are actively using it either. But I digress. Anyway, uh, they do say it's a small number. A small number could be anything, honestly. That's why I would like to know more concrete numbers of like what is the current player base? What do they normally have in any given day, at any given week, at any given month? What is their high, their lows? To see how many, you know, this small number actually is. Because for all we know, it could be a lot more of the PC player base than what they're letting us know. Because, you know, there was one guy who was running around. There are videos of these people hacking the games and doing things and running around and just stealing people, you know, hundreds of people's worth of uh, stashes and worth of stashes, worth of inventories right out from under their noses in a matter of minutes. And, you know, that's like in a 30-minute gameplay or whatever. They're still in, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, you know, close to 100 people's worth of info or items. And this exploit was going on for quite a bit of time. <laughs> and there wasn't just one person doing it. So, you know, a lot of fall fallout for that. But they seem to have gotten it fixed, which is a good thing because... 
that is definitely something that needs to be fixed that can kill your pc side of the game and if it just if it trickles over to any of the other systems oh my lordy you, you just the devastation of the nukes falling but anyway um bethesda of course is like i said downplaying everything 2019 is nearly over and we've had an amazing busy year busy fixing bugs of course <laughs> and fallout 76 we're looking back on the adventure we had together and how thankful we are that you've continued the journey with us but yeah it's it's downplaying everything that has happened this year uh which of course you know is probably the only thing they've got at this point in time you know they've got this entire blog post here breaking things up into the seasons you know it goes without saying we've had rocky times this year yeah uh last week was probably the rockiest but um working closely with you not only have we addressed thousands of issues and added more oh i'm sorry but added meaningful improvements to quality of life especially when you have to pay for it fallout first and uh at the end of 2019 fallout 76 is bigger more stable <laughs> so stable so stable that people were robbing you of your inventories last week and interjecting p or interjecting fallout 4 assets into the game creating completely new weapons that aren't actually available with mods and you know legendary mods and stuff that shouldn't be on them but it's more stable and more fun than ever before that one of course is debatable if you're enjoying the game naturally you're having a lot of fun and that is fine i i implore you to please have as much fun as you want i love fallout um you know i would love to play multiplayer fallout i own fallout 76 but fallout 76 is it's not the fallout of multiplayer that i i, I envisioned anyway <laughs> so it obviously is not for me but um yeah you know they go through a lot of the things that happen but they happen to leave out things like the fallout first fiasco where you have to now pay a subscription to get access to things that should have been free updates for everybody to have anyway you know and then there was the whole fact that your your um, material box or whatever your scrap box kind of ate all your equipment all ate all ate all your scrap and it went disappearing you know there's that the fact that private servers weren't actually private at first because you know they were like ah, nah, nah, this, this works and then they forgot to actually make them private private <laughs> so everybody had an issue with that and they finally did that um the fact that every time that they do do a patch it, it feels like they've taken one step forward to fix things but then they took three steps back because not only did they just fix this particular bug, but they created two new bugs to go with it and revitalized a third bug that they squashed three patches ago somehow. How they managed that, I don't know. You had people who were being decapitated from putting on power armor. You had enemies who had health pools that would just magically respawn as if the enemy has reset itself even though you've been shooting on it continuously the entire dang time um you know you got enemies who won't die <laughs> you've got people spawning in assets from fallout 4 spawning in npcs spawning in weapons and gear you have the duplication of weapons and gear that is still ongoing to this day you have people finding developer rooms that they're not supposed to be following finding you have bethesda banning the hackers whose sole purpose was to hack the game to find exploits to then tell bethesda hey here's an exploit you need to fix it asap because people will use this for the wrong thing you have those people being banned by Bethesda, while the people who are using hacks for nefarious things are still running rampant. You had people stealing inventories. You had glitched bodies, glitched items, glitched weapons, glitched armor, glitched cases, glitched camps. Um, just mountains and mountains of stuff all year long. I wouldn't call it more stable. But it is bigger because they did add quite a few things and then there you've got the wastelanders uh patch which is hopefully coming up 
this year, considering it was supposed to be dropping near the end of this year, but didn't. Anyway, <laughs> with lots of other things. <sighs> yeah, Fallout 76. Bethesda, please let the Elder Scrolls be so much better. And if you're going to include multiplayer, don't do this. Just make it a thing where people can come to my world and we can go adventuring and all that good stuff. And we can play with mods and everything else. All right. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I will talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.